Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a short video about uh, Bell 2000. This video is only about uh, Bell 5 with Bell 2000 uh, router. Um, I had a chance lately to switch my home residential uh, internet which I had with Bell for 500 megabits per second to a business uh, um, uh, 5 internet also with Bell for 940 megabits per second and uh, for uh, Bell uh, business they're installing this kind of router. This router uh, with the difference to the Bell 3000 does not support the SFP module so uh, what uh, Bell is doing when it's installing this is they have their own media converter um, which uh, I'm going to show you uh, how it looks like and uh, they're installing this with that media converter so the difference uh, if you look my other video on how to remove your Bell 3000 from your network uh, Bell 3000 has the SFP module support so you need your own media converter but uh, other than that all the instructions are the same how to set up your own router with the Bell 5 network um, the only thing that you need to do with this uh, is uh, uh, where the Bell technician is installing the network cable from the media converter that Bell is installing you take that uh, cable from the back of the router and you install it into your own router and then you follow my other video instructions and it should work other than that uh, there's not much to it uh, the switch was seamless to me um, I just uh, changed the password because this comes with a different uh, uh, internet password um, and all the settings in my own router stay the same um, I'm getting a full speed uh, on that uh, router. Um, this comes with uh, a media converter and a battery adapter. Um, so let's take a look at that and then we'll come back and I'll uh, tell you more about this. So when Bell is installing uh, their uh, uh, Hub 2000 because uh, Hub 2000 does not support an S SFP modules inside they're gonna install a media converter uh, I'm not sure if uh, it's different uh, this media converter is different this is for business so basically what this is doing it's uh, it's converting the internet signal but it also has a couple of uh, telephone lines here in case you would use this as a, a phone hub for your business also, what they do with the business installation of the fiber optic and Bell 2000, they put a battery. So they're saying, uh, in case in case that the power goes down, that battery will supply the media converter uh, with uh, power. But kind of doesn't make sense because Bell to uh, the Hub 2000, uh, it's not supplied with an external battery. So I guess it's just to keep your phones alive. Uh, that's pretty much it. And one other reason this media converter, I don't know if you can see, uh, this, it takes like a special power cable, which actually comes from the battery. So I'm not sure exactly what power adapter would you be able to put in there. So switching your uh, Bell 2000 with your own router, in this case, it's uh, very simple. Um, basically Bell installs a cable. This cable goes to your Bell 2000. You just replace uh, your Bell 2000 with your router and you follow the instructions on the, uh, my other video that is linked in the descri description. And uh, you're set. Uh, this media converter, you see this is the optical cable that goes into the media converter. So basically this is where the SFP modules module is here. So this, this big boy here basically does what this guy is doing. But uh, it supports the F SFP module so this is what uh, the technician is installing when it's installing Bell, to, uh, Bell Hub 2000 in your, in your hub. So running this uh, speed test, um, it's, uh, it's running uh, wired 
so it's connected directly to my router through a switch. Uh, so uh, running this wireless makes no sense. I have a gigabit uh, wireless uh, adapter, but uh, the wireless is uh, half the plex. So uh, even if I have an, an uh, AC9360, um, it's not going to reflect the full speed of my internet. So I'm running this wired. Uh, so uh, you can see the uh, ping is pretty good. So as you can see, it's almost maxing out uh, the connection. I'm paying for 940 uh, megabits per second. Um, so the download is pretty good. Upload is almost there. So I'm running full speed. The router is pretty good. Uh, as you guys know, I have an AC9, uh, 1900P, uh, um, but I'm planning to switch to a GT2900 in the next couple of days so stay tuned for the video with the test for that uh, router so thank you guys for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next video